If you're looking to buy yourself a WorkSharp, just click on the link marked WorkSharp in the description of this video. Welcome friends. It's a pleasure having you. Thanks for joining us. As always, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and don't forget, share this video with others because, you know, that's how we get the word out. It's from folks like you that share us on Bookface and all those other places. I do appreciate it a lot. So we're going to do a three-part series this, uh, this time around. Today's part one. Um, WorkSharp sent us uh, a new line of sharpeners that they're working on, and they said, hey, shooting guy, would you uh, review them and give us your honest input and uh, send us the review and all of that stuff? And I said, I absolutely would. Can I share it with all my viewers? And they said, absolutely, let them participate too. So I would encourage you that as we do this video and the next couple of videos, put some comments down below of some of the things that you like, some of the things that you don't like about sharpeners and knives and all that, and it would help out WorkSharp. Today, uh, we've got this one here. It's the Pivot Plus knife sharpener, and uh, it's a little small little package, and it's got a little rod, and I'm gonna open this baby up, and look at this. They've got instructions on the back, and before we get into any testing or anything, I'm gonna get this thing out of the wrapper, I'm gonna throw it on the table, and we're gonna get to the specs. Its overall length is about three and a half inches. It's about an inch and a half tall. At its thickest place, it's about 13 sixteenths of an inch thick. That's about as thick as a dime is around. It has convex carbide blades as well as ceramic honing sticks. It has a diamond rod so that you can take care of serrated blades quite easily. It comes with a handy lanyard hole. It has these little indents here that allow you a really nice firm grip on the thing so it doesn't slip out of your hands. It has this very unique feature that allows you to lock the carbide blades in place or unlock it so that it can pivot to take the form of the blade much easier. We'll demonstrate that in just a moment. It weighs in at one and a quarter ounces. It's ultra lightweight and compact. It'll fit easily in your pocket. Don't be too hasty to throw the packaging away. It comes with instructions right on the back. Alrighty, we're in the shop and uh, I've got the uh, WorkSharp Pivot Plus here as well as my Columbia River Knife and Tool Outrage and uh, it's very dull and it's going to need uh, an edge so we thought we'd use it and uh, talk on it. Let me get a piece of paper. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, Save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. I've got a piece of paper here just to demonstrate. Yeah, pretty dull. Not going not gonna to cut it at all, but we're going to take the uh, Pivot Plus here and try it out. See if we can sharpen it. Now, one of the things you got to remember is you start with your uh, carbide side and you swipe it across a few times. Let's see, uh, does it have instructions? Yes, it does, right here on the trusty back. And um, place the knife on the carbide sharpening slot at the heel of the blade, and then pull the knife through with medium pressure. All right, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, one of the unique things about this particular sharpener, you know, if you look at this, it probably looks like something you've seen before. Hmm, maybe one of these. Yeah, very similar, similar concept and idea. But uh, the, the unique thing about this sharpener is that it's got this pivoting thing. So the carbide blade or carbide uh, sharpening blades actually move with the uh, curvature of the blade. And, and as you look at the outrage, you can see it's very, very curved. It's got a recurve and another curve. So I'm going to un unhook that <laughs> pivoting feature so that it can pivot around and then I'm just going to drag it through and uh, see if we can get a put an edge on this thing so I'll put it down medium pressure it says oh that sounds terrific I'm just passing it right through the center of the carbide's uh, sharpening surfaces 
Oh, it looks like it's putting an edge on it. Let's see. Look at that. All right, it's starting to cut. Now this was this was a fairly um, dull knife. I've well, got some strokes going on there, and you can see the pivot action. I think you can from there. I certainly can. It's pivoting and kind of moving with the curvature of the blade, which is what it's designed to do. And then I'm going to flip it around and go on the ceramics. What does it say about the ceramics? Uh, trusty instructions. Let's look at that again. Hone, number two. Switch to the ceramic. Hone. Follow the same steps as above in number one. Okay, so we just keep going. Now, it doesn't pivot. It doesn't need to. I'm just going to pass it through there a few times. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the, the little part here that you can hang on to does create a nice firm um, grip. And if you have it on a fairly decent surface like this here, it is quite good. All right, probably have taken the burr off. Let's see, did we put an edge? Oh, tore the paper instead. Uh, not bad, okay. Gotta keep going a few more times. A few more times. Medium pressure. Okay. Hone it. Pass it through a couple of times. Guys, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So sharpening it with the carbide, um, I probably did that what? You count. How many times? 15, 20 times through maybe? Medium pressure all the way from the heel over here by the uh, ricasso, as they call it, all the way to the tip. And then uh, the first time I passed it through here three or four times, that may have been too much. Probably just need one, two swipes, and then you're done. Now this blade doesn't have any serrations, but uh, the trick would be, if it did, you'd come along and you'd put the... Uh, maybe I had to get a knife that has a, ser a serrated blade, but I can show you. But you would just go, you know, along like this here, and you take care of your serrations. Uh, depending on the width of the serration, you use the very tip, or if you need to come back here further for those bigger serrations, you would do that and you would sharpen that up. And then on the, uh, the back side, you would just take one swipe like that, across the back of the serrations to take knock that burr off and you'd probably be just absolutely fine. I like the way it tucks out of the way so it stays down nice and flat. Wow, all right. So if I had to give this a uh, a rating, and I tell you guys, this didn't have an edge on it at all, um, I'd go and give this a 10. <laughs> I really, really would. Very small, very lightweight. Uh, pocketable, throw it in the gig bag, wherever, and uh, in your, you know, your bug out bag, whatever. And uh, you could sharpen even the dullest knife, which this was, uh, to an edge where you can cut paper like that. So I think that's a very valuable thing. And the price point, I'm going to put a link down below so you can take a look at the price point. It's the cheapest of this type that I can find. It is. So work sharp, you've done a good job. Uh, taking a concept that is somewhat common, carbide and then ceramic in a V-shape, um, added a, a really cool feature so that you recurve blades like this here, get a nice even sharp all the way to, from the heel to the tip. Uh, so that was a good feature, and uh, it actually does work. And then it's at a price point that is the, uh, the lowest that I've seen. All right. You can probably, you know what I would recommend? Christmas is coming up, and uh, for, you know, roughly, I you know, it's less than $10 for sure, no matter where. I'm going to put a link down below where it'll take you to my website, and uh, you could find yourself a link to get yourself one of these. Buy four or five of them. All the knife lovers uh, in your life would love getting one of these in their stocking. I know it. They're low cost, very effective, very pocketable. Uh, so work sharp, uh, like I said, I give you a 10. It's a good choice. 
All right, that's all I got for you today. Uh, don't forget to uh, you know subscribe to our channel, make some comments, like our channel. Don't forget, ring the bell and share this video with your friends. All right, that's all we got. Thanks for joining us today. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. It has a very unique feature that locks the ceramic and blades. What?